hey guys so continuing off from our last video the next thing that we need to do is um, wherever we call a mutation we need to get the user ID as well um, so the thing that we can do to follow the drive pattern is we can create a custom decorator over here if you take a look in the Nestjs yes, um, custom decorator section uh, you can see we can create a decorator and we can pass in the decorator in our function like this for example if you take a look in the GraphQL tooling what we need to do is um, for making it um, work with GraphQL we need to create a decorator like this and also we can pass in the decorator and we can get the user ID so let's do that let's create a new file over here called um, Let's call it get um, user id dot decorator dot ts. Let's paste that thing over. Change this. Um, let's make it to get user id. Import this from here. I think it should be imported from next comments. And in our context dot user what we need to do is we need to return in context dot requests dot um, session dot user id so what we will be returning is the user id from our sessions so we don't really have to do a check over here because in our poll resolver the check is all already being done by the user guard so we have to take a look in the, in the org dot guards if the check is being done here if the user id exists or not so if the user id doesn't exist the whole function won't be called and we'll get this um, forbidden error as you can see here so we don't really have to do a check for our custom um, decorator so let's use that decorator in our polar resolver so we can use that by saying get user id and so our this is the user id so we'll make it to a string as well and the next thing that we need is the uh, name and the options for our create poll arguments so we can create an argument type like this in our if you take a look in type graphql documentation come down here in resolvers scroll down you can see this argument type let's copy this over creating our arguments so I've created a new folder called arguments args over here. So let's create a new file um, args dot let's call it I think it's better if we call um, create all args dot args dot yes. Suppose that then let's import this arg type, let's change this class name to create all args and let's export this um, this field should be name and this should be a string let's import this field as well and this should be options and this should be a array of options so string array of string let's explicitly say that over here because I don't think it will infer it by itself so let's make it a string array of string let's delete the, these two so we will only be having two arguments name and options so let's import that over here we will say um, at args um, let's destructure it and let's give the type um, create all args so we'll get the auto completion over here name and options so let's return this dot so we need to in constructor we need to inject our poll service as well so constructor privates we only poll service poll service and the uh, the Curly basis now poll service dot we'll create a new function create poll and we'll pass in user ID 
theme and options and let's make this to a promise boolean and in our service we'll create the function create for uh, turning up promise why we are saying promise is because this is an async function or else we just need to say it's a boolean because we have specified an async function we need to say a promise and we are returning let's return true just for now so save this over here okay we also need to um, import i mean see our arguments what our arguments are so user id is a string and name is a string and this option is a string of array array of strings so our type error has gone away so that is it guys for the next video we'll continue off creating our create poll mutation so thank you guys for watching